Hello, my presentation focuses on the design of a lightweight store for a fan bomb camouflage tower. This study performed at the University of Mauritius considers the local environmental condition and its impact on such structures being erected in the island. This picture here shows a fully mounted tower perfectly disguised in the form of a natural fan bomb. However, this is far from what you would see in practice. I will start by mentioning the drawbacks of the current design of the stalk and how a new shape inspired from real trees and use of a composite material can solve the problems encountered. The rationale behind the use of fiberglass will be explained and the whole methodology for the redesign of the stalk cross section will be described as the model is eventually tested in extreme wind conditions. The results will be discussed and the main points will be summarized in the conclusion. This picture here shows a tower in practice. As you can observe, most of the leaves have undergone permanent deformation and the tower seems to have lost some of its leaves. This makes a very unsightly structure which can easily be differentiated from a tree. Failing to accomplish its purpose of being camouflage. The problem of trail lies with the stalk. The lack of flexibility of the current stalk makes it prone to crack formation or even breakage under the slightest twisting bending caused by weather conditions. A 3D model of the current stalk is shown here. It has a top surface which is flat, it has a triangular cross section at the base which gradually changes to a rectangular one at the tip. It is made of HMWP polyethylene and has a weight of 20.4 kilograms. The shape and weight of the stalk also plays an important role on the durability of the tower which is subjected to bending moment due to wind forces acting on the leaves. The proposed design of the stalk will have features of a natural stalk, making it lightweight, flexible, and cyclone resistant. The size of natural stalks gradually decreases from base to tip to reduce the weight and to make it more flexible at the end. Being more flexible not only makes the stalk behave naturally, but also increases its durability as it absorbs a major shock caused by wind gusts. Failure of stalks actually occurs due to bending or torsion. Bending occurs due to direct action of the wind, while twisting is mainly encountered when there are smaller branches connected to the main one. Studies of composites as a material for tower structures have been very encouraging so far with both carbon fiber and fiberglass having shown to increase stiffness and flexural strength. Fiberglass is lightweight, has a high flexural modulus. However, it is much less stiff than carbon fiber, which makes it a good choice for the stalk. Epoxy as glass fiber will be used in this work. Its composition is 65 to 70% glass fiber and 30 to 35% polymer. It has great strength at HMWB and can be molded in complex shapes. Specific features identified from cross section of natural stalks have been represented by various parameters, as shown in the figure on the left. Parameters C and D define the width of the cross section, while parameters A and B are related to the top and bottom of the stalk. The same parameters have been incorporated in the proposed shape as shown in the figure on the right. There's one additional parameter which is small t. It has a value of 0 0.09 meters and it allows bonding on the leaves to the stalk. This table contains the values for factors A and B for five branches from five different trees. The branches are of slightly varying length. 
However, the averages of AMB are extrapolated for a stock of 1.75 meters using simple proportionality. To determine the optimum values, five levels were considered for each parameter, allowing 25 different combinations to be tested. This was done to determine the influence of the various parameters on the structural behavior of the stock. The different scenarios will be tested under cyclonic wind conditions, with wind of greater intensity than normal winds. Furthermore, a partial factor of 1.6 has used for variable action of still downs in densely populated regions is applied in the load calculation. A static structural analysis is carried out in this workbench with a base fix for a length of 300 mm. Different weights are the weights of the stalks and the leaves, in addition to the wind pressures. The wind force of the leaf is a main load as it comprises of the frontal drag and frictional forces. Two criteria are used for evaluating the stalk. They are displacement and equivalent stress. To ensure that the selected stalk maintains a good flexibility, while also being resistant to strong winds, a high value of displacement and low equivalent stress combo will suit the purpose. Therefore, based on the FEA results, the displacement to stress ratios are therefore used to narrow down the best possible choice of a stalk. And consequently, the stalk with A equal to 0.02 meters and B equal to 0 0.07 meters is selected for further analysis. The results of the simulation carried out on the stock are shown in these figures with a favorable maximum stress and a deflection of 0.06 meters at the tip. To increase the deflection and reduce the weight of the stock, material was removed internally especially in regions where the stress is relatively small. The stalk is made completely hollow by removing different volume of material along the length of the stalk given its tapered nature. Following optimization, the max maximum stress was still well below the modulus of rupture and the displacement increased to 0 0.08 meters. This makes the stalk flexible and lighter. Furthermore, a flexure of 20 degrees was given to the stalk so that it can have a more natural look, as shown in the seventh figure on the right. This only slightly decreased the displacement to stress ratio. To validate the FEA results, a similar test was carried out on a miniature prototype of the stalk. There was a percentage difference of 0.89% between the values of displacement obtained for the experiment and an equivalent simulation. The stalk is actually more delicate in compression than in tension. The lower part of the stalk is in compression and the lower value of A as obtained for the selected model increases bending and leads to a more flexible structure. In contrast, a high value of B, which represents the depth of the top curvature as used in the proposed model, increases flexibility. To conclude, the nature-inspired shape of the stalk has shown to be very effective in increasing flexibility and durability while also improving the appearance of the structure. Using fiberglass, it was also possible to make the structure hollow throughout leading to a reduced weight of 16 kilograms, which is 4.4 kilograms less than the weight of the existing stalk. It should be noted that the stalk can have a displacement of more than 7.7 centimeters without breaking, and this could be investigated further. Thank you for your attention.